The truth is, most advertising doesn't work. And this isn't because there's no one out there looking or who wants to buy what you're selling. No, the most common reason your advertising doesn't work is because your message does not resonate with your prospects deeply enough to motivate them to get off the couch and act on it. And there are other reasons why advertising can fail, but most advertising fails because the message is not framed correctly for that market. You need to think of your advertising as though it were a salesperson giving a live presentation. So it's not just what you're saying, but how you say it that makes all the difference between success and failure. All right, let me give you an example. In most cities, you can find oodles of people selling real estate. Right? Most of these people will be scraping by, just making a very marginal living. But there are always a few real estate salespeople that are doing far better than everyone else and making a killing. Well, why is that? Well, those who are failing and those who are successful are located in the same city, selling the same product to the same people. So what's the difference? Well, the difference is in the nuances of the presentation, the subtleties of the presentation, not on the product or the price or the people that they're selling to, because that's all the same. No, it's how they present their message. Now, this is true for live sales presentations, and it's just as true for your advertising. And just because your message becomes an advertisement does not mean that you can ignore the basic rules of persuasion. I mean, a message does not become more persuasive just because it's an advertisement. The message must be persuasive in its own right. And one of the biggest challenges you'll ever have as an entrepreneur is deciding how to frame your message so that it becomes persuasive enough to earn you a profit. 